What's going on guys? Mitch from Panda Motorworks here and in today's video we are going to be installing the OCD plug mask screen protector here on the infotainment screen on the Ford Bronco Sport. Now we've done these videos in the past uh, so if you're new to the channel first and foremost welcome. We've done these installs on the full-size Bronco and also on the Maverick. The installation process is exactly the same but today we're going to show you how it's done on the Ford Bronco Sport. To begin this install, we must start with step one, and that is very important, and that is to wash your hands. You wanna make sure your hands are nice and clean so you have all of excess oil off your fingertips. So when you're cleaning the screen, you're not leaving behind any oily uh, fingerprints or anything like that, so you have a nice clean surface for the screen protector to mate to. So I went ahead and just washed my hands. Uh, the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna take the included alcohol swab, and go ahead and open it up. And then we are going to just give the screen a very thorough wipe. So we want to make sure we're getting any pre-existing fingerprints, any dirt, any dust, anything like that. Again, just making sure we have the cleanest mating surface possible so we don't have any bubbles or anything else showing through, um, through the screen protector. Because if it's not perfectly clean, it will show imperfections. All right, so I got that a good wipe done on that. We are now going to take the included microfiber cloth and we're gonna go ahead and just wipe that down. Again, getting any of the excess liquid here, making sure we get all that alcohol nice and dried up here on our screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my phone's flashlight make sure we don't have anywhere to go. And I see some swirl marks here in the corners. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my microfiber, keep my light here, just to make sure I'm getting everything. Just like painting a car, preparation is key. Anything, any imperfections will show through. All right, I got nice and clean. All right, perfect. Now that we have our screen nice and clean, next we need to go ahead and get a soapy water mixture. I went ahead and got our soapy water mixture here already in the included spray bottle. Uh, the recipe is one drop of soap for every two ounces of water. Um, so once you have that mixed up, we'll go ahead and put it in this bottle and then you will go ahead and use it. The first thing you are going to want to do is go ahead and spray your fingertips. Again, this is just gonna help keep the screen clean so when you are touching the film, you're not gonna get any oils or anything else uh, on the back of the film. So get a nice, get your fingertips nice and wet. And now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and take our film here out of the box. Just going to get it open. Find that using the included card helps cut that label really nicely. So you should have something like this. You see perforated edges here. We are going to go ahead and get that out. So the sticky side uh, is going to be what it adheres to your infotainment screen. So again, just be mindful with your fingers, making sure they're nice and wet. And you should be able to just peel your film off just like this. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is take our spray bottle again. We're gonna go ahead and spray the screen and give it nice and generous spray down. And then, we're gonna take our film and we're gonna go ahead and just maneuver it into place. Again, the soapy water is gonna, gonna be what allows you to get this uh, little bit of range of adjustment. So once we have a nice spot for it, we're gonna go ahead and take the included card again, card again and then we're gonna go ahead and use this as a squeegee. So we're gonna work out all these air bubbles again. See if they pop up. Yeah, there we go. 
All right, so there's a lot of air bubbles here. We're gonna go ahead and just use this and work those out to the edges. In the process, this is gonna be what gives it its bond. So make sure you are completely happy with the alignment before you start this process, because once you start this process, there's no going back. I think of all the screen protectors I've installed, this one has gone the smoothest. Uh, I don't see any air bubbles and I only have a couple swipes here. So uh, alignment is pretty spot on. I'm very happy with that and I think the customer will be as well. So once you're happy with the uh, the fitment here of the screen protector, we're gonna go ahead and just take our included microfiber and we're gonna go ahead and wipe up all the soapy water that we worked out of the sides. Again, in this vehicle, since we're inside, it is nice to have a, a flashlight, whether that be on your phone, a headlamp, a traditional flashlight. It is just recommended to get a nice clean install. As you just saw in this video, this install is super simple and something you can just knock out in just a few minutes of your time uh, with no tools other than the ones included in the box. Uh, now that it is installed, we are gonna notice that we're gonna have a little bit of reduced glare when you're out on the road. And also it's gonna have a lot harder time picking up your fingerprints. So uh, just keeping your screen clean and nice. And also the matte finish does look very sharp on the inside. I, I personally really like it. So. If you guys want to pick up one of these for yourself, I'll go ahead and leave a link for the kit in the description below. If you guys like the video, make sure you're smashing that like button. If you want to see more Bronco or Bronco Sport content, make sure you subscribe and have the notification bell clicked. And if you got a comment for us, drop it below. Thanks for watching.